Hello and welcome from Dave M0 OGY to my first review for many months. Uh, sorry about the delay, had a few other things going on. Well, the first one is a new Vortex Q82 Mark II from Steve Lawman at Vortex Antennas. There it is. It's uh, just up temporary at the moment on a tilt over um, mast. But it's at uh, literally eight foot off the ground. It's a bit of a monster antenna. Uh, compared to the early Q82, the basket has grown. The actual basket is roughly 13 foot long now. So it's half the antenna. Good thing with this, I will have it over in the next video. I'll tilt it over and we'll get some really in-depth footage of how it's built but it's a typical vortex built like a tank this is the first one this is the uh, prototype that Steve's built uh, for me to try for the next three months um, I built it up maybe two or three weeks ago it took me around two hours but uh, you see it's not very high at all yeah, you know what I mean from the ground. The actual antenna is around 28 foot tall from the base and like I say a good half of that is uh, the basket. Uh, first impressions. Well wow really. I've just uh, tried the VSWR curve and it's got good SWR over four, four and a half megahertz usable SWR and uh, the first call I made out on it there is some propagation this afternoon because I can hear lots of stations in France in 14 division but my first call on the, the radio in the shack actually on the, on the uh, FM rig was uh, Devon and I got a five, 5 and 9 signal report so that's pretty amazing I think anyway I'll go on the, I've changed it over and I've plugged it into uh, an HF radio to see what it receives like on uh, 11 meters and back in a moment right these are the two radios I'm uh, trying it on I've been uh, transmitting this afternoon on this old uh, 1982 Shogun FM rig and we're receiving on the Yaesu FT840 sideband rig so uh, there's someone from Rochester on at the moment, I think, on FM. I've been there, I've cooked it, <laughs> and I've thrown in 
ook een, uh, is wel af te lopen. Ja, is een goede antenna. Ik ben niet wrong, een goede antenna. Maar ze zijn niet op wat ik nodig heb. Maar ja, mate, uh, Sony Watch, mate, je bent burning in there, mate, vriend. No problem there. Right, I'm going to have to cut you on that one. Because there's a pile up of people. I don't know if you can hear them, but I'm, I'm getting smashed left, right and centre. I'll buy different uh, breakers out there and the lights come in and say hello to me. Right, 73 and good luck, my, my friend. And uh, this is Charlie Tango, 1040. Anyone else out there? Name and the call sign, my please. 26 Alpha Tango 025. 26 AT025. The name's David. Six Alpha Tango zero two five.
So there you have it, I've been uh, receiving quite a few signals this afternoon on both UK FM. As I said a little earlier, I did uh, manage to get straight into uh, Devon on that little out radio. Same with the um, 840 pulling signals in, like no tomorrow. There is some you know, conditions this afternoon without a doubt from the south coast and France, but even so. So, on the uh, next part of the video, I'll show you um, the build quality of the antenna when I tilt it back over. That's the first look of the Vortex Quasar Q82 Mark II. Uh, first impressions are very good. On the second part of the video, I'll uh, give a, a guided tour of what it's like on the floor, you know, build quality, etc. Uh, and then in the same video, hopefully, or a third video, it will be a multi part review, I'll, I'll uh, test it with a an up-to-date antenna analyzer and we'll plot um, a graph showing the uh, bandwidth and the VSWR curve so there you have it good day with the uh, new antenna and uh, I'll catch you on the next one best 73 from Dave M0 OGY North Lincolnshire bye bye